Hi guys, welcome to Ask a Little Witch. Okay, apologies for the delay in getting these out to you. Lots of stuff kind of going on. Maybe I'll tell you about it, maybe I won't. Maybe you're not even interested. So, um, just before we get started, obviously, these are going to be the general predictions um, for all 12 signs of the zodiac. Um, obviously, you can check out your sun, moon, and rising sign um, to get a more, I guess, collective overview of what you can kind of expect for this month. Um, and if you like these style readings that I do do, you can get obviously a more personal one specific to you um, at my website. They're just £11 um, and that works out to be like $14 or something. And as well, the last thing I'm going to mention before getting into it is that the yearly predictions are half price as well. So if you want to check those out, you can get those all at my website. Links are all down in the info box below. So August. August 2017 is going to be a really big month for everybody, okay? Um, I think I said back in January that, you know, the start of the year truly, you know, the whole one cycle, year of the rooster thing. Um, it's going to start probably July and July is where we start to kind of phase things out and August is going to hit and kabam, okay? And yeah, partly because it is eclipse season um, and not only that, they're also involving the nodes of the moon. So the nodes switched signs um, a few months ago. Basically now the north node is in Leo, south node is now in Aquarius and they're going to be kind of impacting what these eclipses are all about and it's going to be felt on a much more profound level as well um we've got mars involved with it obviously the sun because that's the whole point of the eclipse and then the lunar eclipse as well with linking into things that perhaps took place back in february march of early on in the year um and what else is going on um mercury is also going retrograde this month so be uh, not beware because you know it, it's a necessary transit everyone has to experience it and we need it like we need mercury retrograde so i mean these readings are not going to be astrological in any sense okay if you are interested in the astrology of it all you can check out my facebook page i'm going to be posting um there for each single sign um astrologically what i can kind of foresee happening um but these readings are going to be more i guess channeled messages intuitive insights into what my guides and spirits kind of tell me um are likely to be taking place for you um so i think i pretty much covered that and now let's go on to uh your sun sign moon sign and rising sign Hi Cancers, Suns, Moons and Rising Signs. Okay, so what I picked up for you guys for the month of August, or what I should say is what I felt for you for August, was a ginormous earthquake. Now I'm not predicting a world disaster or anything like that. Um, I think it's more symbolic. Um, symbolic of the fact that I feel like August, for many Cancers, Suns, Moons and Rising Signs, there's going to be a sense of a new awakening. You know, the fact that something that had laid dormant for a long period of time is now shaking its way. You know, it's free now. It's shaking its way and it's rising up to the surface for you to kind of really acknowledge and do something about. So I feel like you could have this new kind of momentum to create some sort of a change in your life or because of this earthquake type, whatever that means for you, um, is going to create the change for you. I actually feel like August for you guys is going to be quite healing, yeah? Um, at the same time, I feel like you could feel a little bit like just things aren't going quite to plan. You feel like you're stagnating. You feel like you're not going anywhere. You feel like there is just something that's missing and you just can't quite put the pieces together. Now, obviously, that's not quite true. You know, you might feel like nothing's happening. But trust me, there's something big on its way for you. Um, I would say when it comes to work that you want to kind of stay away from any um, any gossip, any sort of arguments that are taking place in and surrounding the workplace um, because you're going to be being told half-truths, okay? And just going back to what I was saying about the whole earthquake thing is that something, something that was hidden from you, something that, you know was missing it is shaking its way free so i feel like august for you guys there is going to be a big awakening i feel like there could be some sort of 
big change happening. Things that hadn't been happening for a period of time is now going to completely change for you. And I feel like this is a beneficial thing. I feel like this is a really good thing. So even though you might feel a little bit kind of... I mean, you're ruled by the moon. And we've got a lunar eclipse this month, okay? Um, that is going to obviously link back into things that happened at the beginning of the year. So there is... There could be like this confusion or this uncertainty that re-comes back for you, resurfaces. However, um, things are not going to quite be the same as they were. I feel like this is a huge turning point for you for the month of August. So this is what I get for you guys for the month of August. If you would like to check out my weekly predictions, you can do so at my Facebook page or join the newsletter. They get put out there as well. Um, personal readings you can come check out my um, website all links are obviously down below and i will see you very soon bye